the Temple of Dendera, dedicated to Hathor, goddess of love and fertility, is the main building of a group of buildings, located within a walled enclosure, located about 60 kilometers north of Luxor. It is one of the best preserved Egyptian complexes, especially its main temple, thanks to the fact that it remained buried by sand and mud, until it was unearthed by the Frenchman Auguste Mariette, in the mid-19th century. The area belonged to the sixth gnome of Upper Egypt, south of Abydos. The entire complex covers around 40,000 square meters, and is surrounded by a sturdy brick wall, 8 to 10 meters high. Dendera was the site of chapels and sanctuaries, since the beginning of ancient Egyptian history. Apparently, Pharaoh Peep I built this place, and there is evidence of a temple from the 18th dynasty, around 1500 BC. But the oldest existing construction today is the Mamazi, built by Nectanebo I, one of the last native pharaohs. The most notable construction within the complex, is the main temple, called the Temple of Hathor. The temple has been modified in the same place, since the times of the Middle Kingdom, and continuing until the time of the Roman Emperor Trajan. The existing structure was built, no later than the Hellenistic period of Egypt. The temple, dedicated to the goddess Hathor, is one of the best preserved in all of Egypt. The representations of Cleopatra VII, present on the temple walls, are good examples of the art of Hellenistic Egypt, one of them represents Cleopatra, and her son, Caesarion, located at the rear of the temple's exterior. The Temple of Dendera is one of the most accessible places in ancient Egypt for tourists, it is possible to visit practically every part of the complex, from the tombs, and at least one hidden crypt, to the roof, 
the possibility of going up to the roof, and the quality of what is preserved there, make the Temple of Hathor, unique in its characteristics.